Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so it is April 7th, 2018. And today we are going to the... Today we are going to the Mississippi Natural Hair Expo. So, um, I'm not sure what time it is now. I know it's at the 7, but I've been up since about like 5.30. Because I put these braids in um, last night. And I wanted to make sure that my hair was fully, fully dry. It is storming outside. Naturally, of course, on the Gulf Coast area. Um, yeah, so it's storming outside. Thunderstorm rain. Um, where I live in Pensacola. But the Mississippi Natural Hair Expo is, of course, in the in Mississippi but it's at in Hattiesburg uh yeah so that's about two and a half three hours away from us which is pretty much about saying distance from here to Tallahassee Florida um yeah if you guys don't know where Tallahassee is it's our state capital of Florida yeah so that's what we're doing today going to support because last year we went we had an amazing time but this year I plan on definitely vlogging babe is going with me again so I'm fixing to do her hair I just literally got done for being under the dryer for like another 30 minutes 30 45 minutes or whatnot because again my hair was about 85 90 percent dry but of course again i want to make sure my hair is fully fully dry before i take down these braids because um yeah that was enough work in itself i used jesse curls um products on my hair from the rich and radiant collection if you guys hadn't seen that review i will leave a link below um and it talks about i'll share the whole collection the rundown it's a whole wash day review set and style and takedown so you see everything for that review with those products that i used on my hair um again to achieve these plaits yes i'm gonna be bonnet gang getting up to the door because um it's going to be raining across the whole gulf coast area um up until about 10 o'clock um east i mean westward bound here where i live it's going to be raining all damn day so we're moving trying to move out of the rain so that's the goal right now that's what's happening um and yeah y'all so once we get on the road i'll see you guys in a little bit Getting some gas. It's almost 10 o'clock. Uh, this weather is like not the business right now. And my hair, <laughs> unfortunately, it's late. But, but they had an alternative. I just pulled it back and it's so cute. So I'm like, this will work. And then I can just refresh it. I typically don't like to have to refresh my hair, but. You guys know this already, but that's okay though. It's not a big deal. So we're still trying to get there. We know we're probably gonna get there probably like about one o'clock almost because again the weather. And I mean this morning it was just because of the weather. <laughs> so I mean like yeah, the power went out because like I was trying to use like the outlet and then like the weather was already bad outside. So 
that happened and then again i had to still sit under the dryer to like dry my hair still because it still wasn't like completely dry so i had to do that because i had been up since like 5 30 and then i had to do babe's hair and then naturally i had to take down my hair because they were in braids so i had about how many braids did i have two four six that was 12 in the back and then it was like yeah 12 yeah, I had 22 um, braids, so I had to take all those down. Thank God I didn't have to fluff my hair. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm not going to vlog while we're driving, of course, you know, to get to Mississippi. And she just finished pumping. So, I'm just going to get ready so we can get on the road, you guys. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit. See you in Mississippi. So we made it to Mississippi. We got here later this time because the weather was just too bad where we were. In Pensacola, it was thundering, lightning. It was storming. And so we just decided to leave a little bit later. So the time is, it's 12.50 right now. This is my outfit. Just a cute little shirt. And some leggings. You guys are wondering what's on my hair is Jesse Curls. I pulled it back because my hair flaked. <laughs> the product flaked up on my hair, so quick fix, pull it back, roll with it. What you gonna do? Say hi, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> you trying to walk up that day. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to walk up the hill, gotta work out. <laughs> hey, and then, y'all, on top of it, we left the tickets at home on the desk. So, good thing for cell phones. Just pull it up, showing that we have a ticket. And, yeah, so. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I go up the escalator. <laughs> they got the sign, yeah. All right, y'all, we here. So, yeah, we gotta check in at the second floor. Yeah, you, know, you don't have to say nothing. You just need to tell her. Tell her yourself. <laughs> you silly, baby. Huh? <laughs> She need what? Oh yeah. Let's <laughs> check in. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm great. Are we a general admission? General, yeah. Okay, what's your last name? Um, Spivey and Starworth. Queen Esther Spivey? Yeah, that's me. And Alexia. Mm -hmm. Alexia. <laughs> you said it right. <laughs> I know everybody don't get your name right, but she did. Hi, Alexia. 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 Hi,
This is shampoo and the conditioner. It's like pearl oil, flaxseed, and aloe vera. And it's that four leaf clover. This is that pink lemonade. Mm -hmm. You gonna get a bonnet? And they got the. And they got some more of the hair pull oil. We don't have any more of that at home. You wanna get that? Hey you guys, so we're visiting Honey Baby Naturals table and oh my gosh, we tried out we tried out this honey nectar body jelly. That feels really really good. Thank you. Ten dollars each or we're doing all right here Okay. Yeah, so we're just checking everything out. But oh my gosh, y'all, it smells so freaking good. Okay. Alright, you guys, so we are at the Mississippi Natural Hair Expo, and this is still hot. She recognized me as soon as I walked in, y'all. Y'all know I'm just a waterhead. So. I was like, wait, she's in! And y'all know I just feel so small, so I'm just so happy to just be able to connect with you guys and then just get to meet you. It just means so much, you yeah. And she's here at Honey Baby's Natural. Honey Baby Natural, yes. ambassador from Mississippi State. Yes. Alright you guys, so we just got done um, sitting in with the um, sisters, <sighs> sister sciences um, discussion. She was lit. It was really, really good. Last year we saw her as well, um, but we really didn't see a lot of her discussion. But it, I got all of it here in the vlog, so definitely make sure that you stay tuned for it. long-term impact and positive influence on black hair care is undeniable. After How many of you are newly natural? Newly natural? It's okay. Okay, this is a safe space, okay? We can talk to each other. Okay, thank you. Hi. Welcome. You crossed over. <laughs> and how many of you are veterans in this game? You've been doing this. Okay. All right. This is great because that means that you guys are here to help your fellow sisters to make it through their journey because we all started something how it applies to your hair. And then the last thing is that you need to have proper techniques and a regimen. But all of this doesn't happen unless you know your hair, which goes back to the science of hair. So, before we get into that, I want to talk about what does natural mean. So, can anybody tell me what the definition of natural hair is? Never had a chemical service done. Okay, what's your name? Shanice. Says natural means never had a chemical service done. Never. Does anybody disagree? The hair that naturally grows from your scalp. The hair that naturally grows from your scalp. Okay. So, 
Has anybody in here had color? Okay. How about that color line? Are you natural? Yeah. Okay. So according to Shanice's definition, right? Did I say that right? You would not be natural. Because you have a chemical surface coloring your hair, chemically alters your hair. So from a scientific standpoint, that you would not be considered natural. But, I'm sorry, what's your name? Angela. Angela. Angela said natural means how your hair grew from your scalp. From your scalp. So it's not been altered as far as how the texture of it has not been altered. Correct? Okay. So, you know, she can be frizzy too, right? And it's because so much water has swollen into her hair that it starts to, the cuticles start to raise. And when the cuticles start to raise, that's when it starts getting kind of crazy, right? So this is another reason why it's important to, um, it's another reason why it's important for us to make sure our cuticles are closed because when they're raised, they can catch on each other. And they do this, like Velcro. I know, that hurts, doesn't it? So when you do that, your cuticles open, and then they start to catch on one another. It's like literally putting your hair next to each other while it's like this, and then when, you, when you're trying to pull it through, when you're trying to detangle, that's like pulling them apart and then the cuticles break more, which is what causes a lot of the abrasions on that surface area and can increase your porosity. So it's important that when you detangle and when you start manipulating the hair, you want to make sure that your cuticles are sealed as tight as possible. And the environment, specifically humidity, can change really how open or closed your cuticles are, which is why it's important to seal your hair before you go into humid environments, because then that will prevent the water from actually uh, actually um, penetrating the cuticle layer. So, we're going into product knowledge. It's water-based and what? And oil, right? So we make creams by technically, like this cream, if I had to guess, Mm, probably 60 to 70 percent water. Would you believe that? You just believe that. This is science is saying it. So it must be true. This lab looks powerful. Okay, so this is 60 percent water. But really, what we do is we add in the oils and then. Conditioning agents like this, which is satero alcohol. This doesn't look like satero alcohol. No, that's because y'all y'all used to this alcohol, right? Yeah. Right. This is what you thought alcohol looked like, yeah. or no? Or if you're me, maybe this is what you thought alcohol looked like. Yeah. Okay. These are the good alcohols. These are the good alcohols. <laughs> so these are the there alcohols that we use in products. So when you see satero alcohol, sterile alcohol, acetyl alcohol, satero alcohol, all of these alcohols actually look like this. And really what it is, is from a chemical structure standpoint, yes, they're all alcohols, but this type of alcohol has a fatty acid attached to it. I'm sorry, fatty alcohol attached to it, which changes its form which makes it very moisturizing, very conditioning. And all I have to do is essentially put this in water, stir it up, and then flick the wrist, the wrist. <laughs> add in some oils and some other amazing ingredients, such as amino acids and proteins and all those things. And then I get that, okay? Now, an oil is made of what? Oil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Girl, so okay, after this one too, so it's but right now we're going in to see the honey baby naturals. Um 
session. Oh, yeah, that's up here on the third floor. And then my socks. Yeah. No, it looks like somebody's sitting there. We just need to see. Oh, there's something around the second row.
So I would call on chemists and I would teach them how to make the products. I would I was selling chemicals. I was showing them, okay, this is going to enhance shine. This is going to give you an emotion. This is going to make a shampoo. I have a different makeup and, and benefit of their skin. And so I do have shea butter, mango butter, and coconut oil. Let's pass these around. You can open them and you know, just feel the, the, different, the different benefit that it gives to your skin and how it melts and, and how it works. And there's like a different density as well. And so in all of my products, I use a mixture of butters and oils primarily. And so you kind of can, um, yeah, I'll put, I'll put some over here too, Kena. I'll let Kena help you guys. Um, but it, it's nice to kind of see the, the chemicals and the ingredients in the raw form because it's just, it's, it's interesting to kind of see it that way. And so with shea butter, um, I don't have to tell you about this, like mother's conditioner, it actually holds water into your hair and skin. Um, it heals burns. All right, you guys. Huh. All right, you guys. So whew, we're taking a break real quick. Babe went to go get us some water. Fuck, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'm thirsty. I'm always thirsty. I usually always have a bottle of water with me and whatnot. But yeah, so we just got done sitting in um, with um, Aisha of Honey Baby Naturals. She was talking about her new collection that she launched this year. And um, we got some actual. We got some of the products. But one of the ones that I really wanted was this um, Honey Nectar Body Jelly. This is the first thing she pointed out to me when we went over there to the her um, table. And y'all, it smells so good. Like, it smells so freaking good. And it's so hydrating to the skin. And y'all know I use oils and butters. I'm not a lotion person. And then we also had got some samples as well. Now, I must say, we didn't get a swag bag this year. But I'm kind of glad we didn't get a swag bag because I have enough products at home. So... I mean, I wasn't upset or anything like that that we didn't get the swag bag because, again, we didn't need that much product coming back to the house. And then I got some earrings from another vendor. And, um, oh, yeah, and then I did get the, um, the main choice, um, mask from their four leaf, four leaf clover collection. This is the manageability and softening remedy mask. So definitely can't wait to try these products out you guys and i want to come to you guys with a video about it so that's what i'm gonna do but right now i'm just having a seat here um but yeah y'all like it's been really really good like we had so much fun and um, we're not leaving yet <clears throat> but um we're not leaving yet but um yeah i'm just waiting on bed she's decided to get some water because <clears throat> my throat is dry like it really is maybe it's just um Maybe it's just the weather here, but it's humid here just like how it is in, um, just like how it is in, um, Florida, so. Oh my gosh, look at this orb. Orbs, you guys. Yeah, and then also, too, I got the meat Vondra. Y'all, she is so sweet. LaVondra, um, she is so sweet. Typical black queen. And I meant to put her on my vlog, but I'll be on her vlog. I was just so you know just so happy to meet and just to actually get to meet her in person because you know naturally you know support each other through social media as on our platforms and yeah so that's present what we're doing people are just sitting out um i guess just waiting to go because it did start at 10 o'clock i'm not even sure if that's what time it is now because we'll probably be leaving in about the next 30 minutes or so yeah, it's 3.34 right now and it ends at 5. So we'll probably be here about another 30 minutes or so. Because we wanted to look at the other brands. And I know Babe is looking for like a bonnet. And um, it's another brand that I wanted to support as well. So we're going to go back in there and um, shop probably a little bit more. And then we'll probably be heading back to Florida. Because the weather is bad. I mean, it's stormy. It's rainy. And typically we won't stay out of town if the weather's like that. Because... What are you going to do when the weather's, you know, bad? So, that's what we're doing right now. Sitting here just chilling. Y'all, I'm feeling this shirt. Like, it's so cute. And I think I only paid, it's only like $6.99 for this little shirt. But I love it. Those really comfortable. It's a tie in the front. So, yeah. That's what we're doing. Now 
announce the Tiny Miss winner. We're going to have her and her parent do one last walk with her sash and her crown. And the other contestants have exit stage left. We want to say so congrats for the baby. Oh. Are we ready to crown the sash? Okay. Our first 2018 Mississippi Tiny Miss Black and Natural is Mrs. Charlie McClain. was a success yes y'all i got to meet the owner of honey baby naturals aisha and um i was already following honey baby naturals but i hadn't gotten around to using any of my products that i have already from them but definitely will be using them because my hair has this product residue on here that's just not it's just not happening it's just not the business so um <clears throat> babe's going to get the car she's going to be a doll and pull it up because she see i got these got these heels on <laughs> so she's gonna go and get the car um the temperature is dropping though here in mississippi we would stay for their mixer that they're having but we aren't staying like hotel wise here in mississippi so which means we have to be like waiting like a couple hours or so but next year definitely would be better prepared for it and plus too because of the weather it was so unpredictable because um, the reason why we came late is because it was just storming this morning like it was literally thunderstorming lightning and I mean like it was just raining too bad to just get on the road early like we would have preferred to so we got here like about 12 30 yeah we got here about 12 30 parked about five ten minutes later or so and then came right on in but y'all it was really really nice like if you live in the gulf coast area from like florida alabama mississippi even like on um, louisiana as well definitely y'all need to come and support the mississippi natural hair expo it's really 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 nice i like the fact that they have a lot of public vendors as well like local vendors and i'm um, particularly big on that because we already support you know the known brands as they are you know like the ones that they carry in walmart target you know just anywhere and i just feel like it's just very important to just support the smaller brands because they matter too you know and i mean not to say that the big ones don't matter but the small brands matter as well um, especially our black owned businesses so we did support a few brands in here this time um we did pick up a couple things like i showed you guys earlier from honey baby naturals and the main choice simply because we wanted to get different products this time because again we have more than enough hair products i mean i got too many damn hair products at home so look at babe y'all my baby pull up the car get me <laughs> says that's love y'all so yeah we're fixing to go i'm vlogging uh -huh. <laughs> we're fixing to go to get something to eat i was telling them how you went to go get the car i said i said oh i said i said like a real champ <laughs> You all in the passenger side like we in Pensacola. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, I forgot. 
forgot that I don't know when I'll be driving. Just do a loop de loop. Okay. And I will switch drivers. Okay. Cause I ain't coming out these shoes yet. We finna sit, stay here and eat. Cause the only thing I got, the only thing I got, y'all, some house shoes. So. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> do a drive through. Uh, we just gonna do a drive through, yeah. boom. Okay, but I ready to get back on this road. Yeah, cause, on road cause, cause, cause y'all, literally the DJ was lit in there. Like he really yeah, was, was turned. Tonight, yeah, y'all. like so, Kim, Jennifer, just wanna let y'all know, like the DJ oh, was lit. Um. Play this girl. Let, hold on, y'all. We got switch drivers. Oh, y'all. Y'all know I'm scared. <laughs> I, I don't understand why Babe couldn't wear the pants in the relationship. I should have been in the dress. What? <laughs> Come on, fuck. This girl is crazy, y'all. You said you want to go through a drive through. Like, what kind of drive through did you want? Yeah, y'all. So, but the DJ was mad fucking lit, like real, real lit. Like he was playing all the good jams. Like even when we were sitting in on uh, sister sign, on uh, sister scientist um, discussion. Yeah, she was lit too. Uh, but she's always lit. You need to follow her back because she be funny on on IG. But y'all, it was really, really nice. Like we enjoyed it last year too. Hence why we decided to come again this year. And I'm just so happy I did because y'all, it was really, really nice. And a lot of people wore their hair out this year because last year a lot of people wore their hair tucked away because last year it rained, but the humidity wasn't as bad this time as it was last time because my hair didn't even frizz up and that's even with me having it pulled back. So, they will be looking like a whole snack. You watch the same looking, looking like, like a whole snack. So, yeah, yeah. So, we're fixing to get something to eat and then we're going to be getting back on the road to head back to Florida. All right, you guys. <laughs> So we're at Applebee's, you guys. This is dinner. Got some ribs, some mashed potatoes, some garlic mashed potatoes, and some broccoli. And Bay got the same thing. So she got fries. <laughs> Say hi, baby. <laughs> yep, so we're fixing to eat and then we're gonna be getting back on the road. <laughs> 